we're outside of the office of Haley Stevens, and she is an example of a congresswoman who has been bought by APAC, and also something called PEP, Progressive Except Palestine. She's good on unions, she's good on women's rights, she's good on race issues, she's good on gun violence, she's good on solar energy and green jobs, she's good on gay pride, all kinds of great issues. She says, gun violence and racism have no place in our communities. But what about gun violence in Gaza? What about racism and the targeting of Palestinians? She doesn't say anything about that. So why is she doing this? Why is she progressive on everything? Palestine? Take a guess. Money, APAC, exactly. So she was running against an incumbent, Andy Levin, in 2022. Andy Levin, very progressive, including on Palestine. Andy Levin, a self-proclaimed Zionist, a former synagogue president, and a member of a prominent Jewish political family, but APAC went after him. Why? Well, this is what Levin said. APAC can't stand the idea that I am the clearest, strongest Jewish voice in Congress standing for a simple proposition. There's no way to have a secure democratic homeland for the Jewish people unless we achieve the political and human rights of the Palestinian people. For his position in favor of human rights for Palestinians, APAC spent $4 million to get rid of him and make sure that Haley Stevens was elected. Unfortunately, with APAC as your sugar daddy, it seems that the truth about the slaughter of the people in Gaza gets buried beneath the money. And we noticed this wall talking about how many mass shootings there have been in this Congress. And it's, it's crazy to us that there are all of these stickers representing all the mass shootings in the U.S., but there are no stickers anywhere here in Congress that we see that represent all of the people who have died in Gaza. So this just shows how deeply unequal our world and our society is, that we can, you know, sh display all of these, these poor victims of these mass shootings, but there's no representation of anyone in Gaza at all here. Now, we're outside Haley Stevens' office. She voted for $17 billion in more weapons to be sent to Israel. So denounce gun violence in the U.S., but support gun violence in Gaza. Unfortunately.